All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you this brand new system. We're just going to go ahead and do a quick walk around, but we're going to go ahead and get into all that, what the customer decided to go with, his choices, his plans. This is basically just the, the shell of what's going to happen. So he's already gotten some stuff done, but we're going to go ahead and show you guys the big plans, and we're going to go ahead and do it right after the intro. Okay, everybody, uh, the speakers that I've uh, decided to go with, Bowers & Wilkins or BMW, uh, 7.3 CWMs. I bought six of these speakers. They're going to be my surrounds. My room was pre-wired uh, from the builder for a 7.1 surround sound system, but I had it rewired for a 9.4 uh, Adobe Atmos system. So my surrounds are going to be six... CWM 7.3s, which is going into these walls here. As you can see, I have one uh, uh, placed in the wall just to see what we're gonna, uh, how they're gonna be spaced. In the ceiling, those are complete. Those are the CCM 7.3s by BMWs. And then for my front, they're gonna be the BMW 8.3s uh, Ds or Deltas, and everything is gonna be powered. Um, by uh macintosh amps my two subs are uh they're on their way bought and paid for they're just being built um a jtr captivator 4000 ulf uh, subs they have two 18 inch uh woofers each and also they have a 4000 watt amp on each sub so uh they're going to be here in this corner here uh, also, what I had done to the uh, room, I had plenty of uh, 20 amp uh, outlets for the subs. And then also on the outside of the room, all these uh, 20 amp plugs put in for when I get all the amps. And my rack is going to go here. And um, so there's plenty of power. There's also a, a sub panel downstairs for the room, a separate sub panel. Uh, electrical panel that was put in just for the room and also uh, I have a concession room stand again of uh, 20 amp plugs popcorn machine two wine uh, wine fridge and the regular fridge is going in here also a microwave and a display case for candy so it, everything is coming along pretty good hopefully by um, hopefully by December of this year or January early next year, this room would be rocking and ready to go. You said, what do you want to put over here? Some some hi fi? Yes, uh, in this area, it's going to be three Macintosh MC 1.25 amps and four MC 303 uh, Macintosh 300 watt amps. In the rack, when it comes in, it's going to be a Kaleidoscape. An Oppo uh, player. I have a, a a 203 player. Line conditioners, you know, just your standard stuff to go into the rack. Lumigen? Um, the Lumigen. I forgot the Lumigen. Yes, <laughs> the Lumigen is going in there because the uh, the future of this room also is going to be the uh, JVC NX9 projector, and also there was a I had the electrician put in a 20 amp plug up there for that so that's all ready to go uh the screen is going to be 175 inch screen uh si screen it's going to be the slate so it's going to be perforated and ready for the speakers uh that's going to go into the walls behind the screen so oh yes uh originally the door was on the screen wall coming in so he took and moved the door to here Coming into my game room, there's two steps coming up. So now we got two steps coming down into the theater room. The door is not original that the builder had. He gave me a larger uh, door and also put a seal on the door. So when we close the door, um, I can have the full lights on in the game room and also the um, the um, the the, the shades on the windows can be open, but when you close the door, it's a total seal where there's no light coming in. And I have a, a total dark total dark room or pitch black room because there's no windows in my theater room. 
It's a dedicated uh, room that the builder built. But that's it. Well, cool guys. So I really appreciate you guys for following along with this one. This is kind of a, an, an, un, an unconventional video. I don't necessarily show people spaces before they're done, but uh, you know, I, I kind of wanted to do this kind of like as an archive type thing to show you where he's at now and also where he's going. So if, if you guys don't like this video, it's, it's going to be fine. Uh, whenever this stuff is nice and said and done and everything's all the drywalls patched, all the wires are in there and everything is nice uh, with its fit and finish, then you guys will understand. I mean, if, if, this is what construction looks like. This is a work in progress. So just take your time with things. If you're doing this yourselves, uh, you, you understand how long this stuff takes. Uh, it, it takes up days, hours, months, weeks. Um, I, I'm still working on my personal space. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and circle back around and show you guys more updates as we, we get them. So, you know, whenever the projector gets in here, the screen gets in here, if any of the changes happen from what he initially told you, we'll go ahead and show you guys that whenever it's all buttoned up, finished out, and that's about it. So really appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys like these type of videos, let me know. If you guys are in Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, pre preferably Houston because I don't like to travel that much. But if you guys are in these areas, let me know about your space. If you guys have something that's worth showing off, even if you have something that's not worth showing off, just uh, just um, comment down below, and I'd like to go ahead and show you know the the subscribers your spaces. But really appreciate you guys for watching. I'll go ahead and catch you on the next one. Big thanks to uh, my buddy Taz here. He basically reached out to me in the same fashion that I just told you guys to. So that's about it. Catch you next time.